No, <clears throat> not really sure how an induction hot plate works, but <clears throat> I'm just going to show you this while I'm making my tea. Now I'm taking water out of the water jug. Not out of the cold, but just out of the regular section. I'm going to put approximately one liter of water in there. Again, it's not hot water. This is just right out of the water cooler. There, so as you can see, I just put approximately one liter of water in there. I'm going to put this paper towel underneath there. Put it on 460 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm going to take my tea out. Got to have my King Cole loose tea. One great big spoonful, well maybe a little bit more. Preheating my French press. My King Cole tea. Usually takes a couple of minutes for that sucker to heat up. Just when you buy one of these induction hot plates, they send you a little magnetic pad with it. Just so that you can take it with you and test your test your containers to make sure there's that it's magnetic. Because anything stainless steel, pure stainless steel or copper will not work on one of these. So I took the magnet and it stuck to the bottom of this pot just barely just barely sticking and it works uh, most of my stainless steel pots here don't work on so I bought a few cast iron frying pans small ones they have to be the size of the of the uh, pot there's a ring on top of the plate here and it has to be the size of the ring this big cast iron frying pan I first tried it when I bought it three years ago I cracked three eggs in it, and only the very center of the of the eggs cooked. Everything that was on the outside ring of the frying pan did not cook at all. There's something you have to be careful when you do buy it. This little one here is great for cooking eggs. This one I did my mashed potato lobster paste in. This one I bought for I think five or six dollars at Mards. It's great for making sandwich size, anything whatsoever. Keep flipped upside down. And they work absolutely great. This uh, Paderno nonstick doesn't work on it at all. So let's see how we're doing here. Ooh, starting to steam as you can see. Not too far from having a boil. I preheat my French press and my nice stainless steel carabiner mug. Just because I like I like my tea to steep really well. So this thing is working. Morning. Oh, oh, there it is. How long was that? Like two minutes before it started boiling? But uh, as you can see, there are no burn marks 
whatsoever. And I put my key in. And let it steep. And the thing about that, you see it? There's no burn marks whatsoever. And you can put your hand right on it. I did, I did boiled water on this sucker. Just, I find that so fascinating. But anyway, see you in about five minutes.